<laughs> I've had new teeth. I'm still breaking the teeth in. She's still so going I can't into talk them. properly, basically. I um, I just some words don't quite come out right. Mind you, it was like that before, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. So I'm struggling. Right, so Faye's got no nails on. Naked nails. We've got to do a prep. So we're going to go through the prep as well. Um, so those of you that have seen my work already, you will be fully aware that I love to do an e-file prep. So that's what we're going to do. Faye's going to sanitise her hands first. So I'm going to use the cuticle prep bit. Yay. You love this. Don't I do. You? Yeah, it's a bit of life. Are you excited because you're getting nails? Yes. And your nails are just going to leave them off for far too long. Fantabulous, aren't they? It's only been mm. about 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> too long, too long. 12 hours too long, though, yeah. So, I'm taking this bit and I'm working. I've got this, um, my electric yeah. file in reverse. So I've got it in reverse, oh, you need charging. Yeah, that's why it's flashing at me. But it's in reverse. It's on a slow speed. I would say it's going about 40 knots. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not a boat. So it's going um, at about 8,000 um, revs per second. Something like that. Per minute. minute. If it was going 8,000 revs per second, yeah, you'd be, be in the sun by now. <laughs> <laughs> oh god so because it's in this reverse position i can come round like this holding the, the hand piece this way and then i can spin round like this so as i'm using this bit it, the rotation is pushing away the skin so it's pushing the cuticle back and it's removing any non-living tissue off the nail plate. Freeing up more nail. So we want to get them pushed back and get rid of that non-living tissue. It, it's just going to really prep the nail. Um, we're also going to use a proximal fold bit as well. So don't jump, don't fast forward. Come on, let's yeah. watch it in, in full. I love when people like send me pictures of them watching our videos um, and then they've got a small child that's also intrigued watching it as well. It's Someone quite cool. Someone commented this morning that they, uh, when they take the kids to bed, they yeah. don't read bedtime stories, they just have to watch Kirsty Meekin. No! Yeah. Oh, that is so cute! And, uh, and the kid asked. And, and the kid Aww. 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 That's nice. So, with the proximal fold bit, you're just going to kick it across the cuticle area. Skip. S skip to Lou, my darling. Skip to Lou, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to Lou, skip to, my, skip to the Lou, my darling. Is that going to go to the toilet? I don't think so. Yeah. Um, so we're pushing the skin back and exfoliating the dry, flaky skin. Flaky, it's definitely not flaky. I know, it's good, it's not, it's not too bad. Well, then. Too bad. So, I just want to take off any, so any stubborn parts that wouldn't come off. You mean there's stubborn all over? Yeah, so we, we, I'm literally just going to take off that, very gently. Oh, I know. These scissors are amazing. from, though these are the nailed by Lucy ones. Um, they're very similar to the Katie Barnes ones, which I absolutely love as well. These are a bigger version of the Katie Barnes ones, which I love. These okay, are well, just like so. stiffer. These are softer. I am going to set up a file so I can file the ends of Faze nails. It's a nice file. It's a beautiful metal board, and we're gonna put. Oh, it's a board. Oh, yeah. Oh, you've not seen these, have no. you? No. That's why I'm intrigued. Yeah, just that one farm, which really. No, well, that, oh, that's why I wanted to touch it. Just have a little touch. 
Good job, it's Sally Sally No, Jock. No. We're going to peel. So 240 grit. Oh, my days. This is pretty impressive. Peel that off. Line it up so I've got my nails sort of either side of the metal board. And just drop that down, press it down. And then on the other side, I'm going to have a 150 grit on the other side. These are very, very cool. They are COVID friendly. Because... Do you reuse the, do you reuse, use the metal bit? Yeah, reuse the metal part and then peel off the um, file. And then you're ready and clean for your next client. The metal, um, the metal centre board is obviously very easy to clean, but because a nail file is porous, it's very difficult to clean. Right, so I'm just going to neaten this up. In all honesty, the tip is going to sit over that, so I'm not going to, not too concerned. Take the free edge off of this and then once we've gone around with the 240 grit file and just neatened up those edges i am going to prep the nail plate now you can do this with your 240 grit file or you can use a sanding band i do prefer to use a sanding band just because it's it's gentler on my hands so i'm not like this i'm not like this it's easier on my hands and arms it's also disposable as well so it's covid friendly so we're going to use the mandrel bit it's got an ab swarovski crystal at the end and it's got the safety lock system which is it's, it's using i can say friction it's not friction it's pressure and tension and we're going to use the fine sanding bands so I'm going to take one of them, pop that on, let him in, make sure he's fully on. Yeah, going about 6,000. Oh no, reps. Rev per minute. <laughs> I need to make sure this is in forward motion now because I'm going to be working it from right, my right, to my left. If you are left handed, you want to work the other way, so put it in reverse. So I go around the cuticle first and then I can just gently skip over. Skip, <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Just taking off the shine. So when I come to do the other hand, if you look at the sanding band, you can see it's more worn towards that top half. So you literally pull that off, flip yeah. it round, and it's fresh. Fresh. Ah! Oh, that's flash. Are there any brands out there that want to send us some lint-free wipes? We will gladly showcase them on this channel. It's something <laughs> that we use loads and finding good ones is difficult. So if you're there, hit us up. Right, so the tips we're going to use, I can't believe that I'm, I'm, we're still here using tips on you. It's like amazing. I love them. So these are the... Um, Especially when you... I think they're called Double XL. I can't remember, but they're long. Um, they're from Nail by Lucy. We will put a link below we so love, you can... We love them, Lucy. We will put a link. I've got a discount code as well, so we'll put that in there somewhere. I love the text. In the description box. But yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Love them. So what I'm going to do is you can do this before you put them on if you want. You might feel a bit comfortable doing this. So we're just going to create like a little dink. Dink. <laughs> So you're having you're having a like a modern almond. Yeah, I thought mm, so. My favourite. Yeah. So you can take your I mean you make it sound like unpredictable. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna cut that end off. Bit. These are my um, navy. Beautiful, love navy too. Yeah, beautiful navy cutters. Just gonna cut them. So you can make your shape. So you can do this before they go on. So you see how narrow this is now. Look at the length. Oh, love it. So it's now not a square nail. Right, so I'm going to do the same with all of these. What I'm going to do now is file this tip a little bit. So I'm going to use that 150 grit side just to get this really neat. It just saves me filing it while it's on the nail. There's one thing that is hard to do is it's hard to file the tip that's this long 
on the actual thing, if that makes sense. It puts a lot of pressure on that join. So I'm going to use my Joy Maya base. So this is, it is a glue, but it's more of a resin, so it's slightly thicker. It gives you a little bit more play time. So when you put it on, if it's not quite straight, you've got that time to straighten it up. So you can see how the tip fits over that little break. We talked something massively with nail tips, you know. What? Because what do I, what do I like and what don't I like about tips? I would rather have a smaller tip that doesn't fit my nail properly until you've taught me mm -hmm. the reasons why you need to wear the right side because I'm I was obsessed with that in my head. It's that slimness. It's got slim, it's got big skinny, it's got Luke. I'm just gonna wipe over these ones that I've already done with cleanser. So this is the Nalchemy cleanser. Not that one. Smart to eat. Um this yeah it's Kiwi this one. So we're gonna file this now. So we're going to come up the side, we're going to use that 150 grit side here. Can you see how it's slightly big, ever so slightly big. And that'll just need a little bit of filing, keeping everything nice and straight. The file needs to be really straight with the finger, do not anchor up. and now it's in line, okay? So we're gonna do that on both sides. Now I'm gonna blend this in. So you can use that 240 grit side if you wanna be really gentle. Just blend it in mainly at these sides because it's going to bulk out the nail. The tip is there purely for, for shape, not necessarily strength. The acrylic will give you the strength. And I'm just going to give that another little pinch just to bring it in nice and slim. Okay, so we've got all those done. Let's wipe over this one now to make sure we've got no bogeys on there. Bogeys. <laughs> <laughs> or fuzzies or anything, you know. Yeah. Call a bogey, a go kart bogey down here. No. You know, like, you know, did you ever make go kart? Well, maybe not you, but like, have you ever been in like a sort of a... My brother a had a go. One? Yeah, yeah, my yeah. brother does that, they yeah, yeah. Bogies. Oh, yeah, you know what we call bogeys, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah. It's not. I call them as well, so that's yeah. it. Everyone does what also bogeys mean that as well. Where, um, where I'm from. Maybe a boggy, but not a bogey. A boggy, yeah, a no, boggy. We'd maybe call it a boggy one Yeah, we call it a boggy. No, maybe it's a boggy. No, no honestly, it's a boggy. Yeah. Face basket. Face basket. She's been shopping. Maybe we'll do a few little shots of our area that is. You can just see a little smidge of it here. But this is basically our shop, our little shop. It's a, the nail bar, the nail bar. Um, so she's been over and selected like a bunch of um, glitters, and powders, and everything like that. So this is what we're working with today. We'll see if we can eliminate any of them because. I'm not sure you're going to get all those glitters in this design, if I'm honest. So, um, core system, um, we're going to use, we've got, we've got to use two different ones be, just because I haven't got a Glitter Armour <laughs> Clear, so those from Glitter, Arm, glitter Armour, send me a clear. Um, but we're going to use this um, ballet shoe for our natural colour. Um, we've also got Pink Sparkle, which is, it's like a cover pink with a sparkle and it's beautiful. Um, then, because we know the acrylic powders are all set, we're going to use Just Legal, Firecracker, they're all Glitter Army, Glitter Army. And then we've also got 
Las Vegas, baby. And we're going to use these two, which are from Nail Kami. Because we're just using them for art, it's absolutely fine. But when I use a product for the core, we have to match the liquid and the powder for your core products. So by that, I mean like your cover paint and structure, okay? So we're going to use those two, which are Musical and Freesia. Now the glitters. This, this is a glittered acrylic, but I'm going to use it mainly just for the glitter that's in there, to be honest. Um, and it's called Eve. It's got like loads of little mylar flakes in it, which is really nice. Then we've got a bunch of glitters. So we've got loads of Lucente glitters. And we've also got lots of the A and A glitters, which I absolutely love. So let me just look at these because some of these look similar, Faye. You put them in, some of them. Did I? Yeah, you put them in, them in. See. Ah, that one's got white in, so we're not <laughs> going to use this one. We're definitely going to use this one, which is Fairies Tutu. I'll put that one in. Did you? Okay. I'll put that in. Then we've got Crushed Ice and Nimbus Cloud. <clears throat> I think we can eliminate <clears throat> Nimbus Cloud because of that one. And use the Crushed Ice. We're definitely using this. This is absolutely stunning. It's unicorn chunky. They like, kind of look like mermaid flakes, to be honest. Um, these are little dots. Do you want those in? Okay. They're called flamingo chunky. And then we've got. See, this is. No. Yeah, but I've just pulled them out for colour. I think that's too far. No, I think. <laughs> I don't know that you need these. No, I don't, I don't think we're going to use it. Okay. I think we've got enough. Yeah, okay. okay, so beautiful as they are. Not for this design today with the laminated sun. So we've got four glitters, a glittered acrylic, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colour powders. And we're also going to use the clear from Nail Camille. This is called Crystal. So I'm going to have two dampened dishes. I'm going to have one dampened dish with my nail Kami monomer and I'm going to have a dampened dish with the glitter armor monomer in because I don't want to mix the monomers. So I'm going to put the glitter armor in this one and the nail Kami in this one. So they are two different colors. That's really important. If you're going to use two different acrylic liquids, try and use different colors. For your dampened dishes, so you know which is which. We're going to lay down a clear layer first of the nail Kami crystal, which means we're going to prep with the nail Kami solutions as well. So we've got the nail prep essentials. Let's get you on. Is that a combined product? What do you mean? A dehydrator and a primer. primer. Well, this does not need primer. Well, we've just yeah, they're there. No, I've had it She's and I know it. I love it. She likes it. She should not be scared. Not scared. At all. So I'm going to move the glitter armor one away because I know that I may put my brush in. So clear bead. And we're going to do this very thin. This will help with adhesion and it's also going to create like a bit of a barrier for the pigments that are in the acrylic. Why is that really important that you do that? Because it's going to keep everything adhered and it's going to stop staining or minimise staining. Very thin. Do not go thick with this. So you just drag it up. You don't have to take it fully to the end of the tip.
Right, so what's this colour? Oh, look, I took the bloody lid off and not. Yeah. Ballet shoe. Ballet shoe. Never change. I know. So when we're going to do a reverse smile line, we're going to extend the nail bed. So we're going to pop the bead right on top of where that nail plate ends. Okay, and then we're going to bring this back. First time using this product, so I'm like, oh my god. Is it difficult when you're working with a new product to sort of know how it's going to flow? And... Yeah, yeah, of course it is. I'm like, you're going to get like a true opinion. I think I could go probably a little bit drier with it. Because it looks very glossy. Yeah, I could probably leave it in the powder a little bit longer when I pick up my bead just to get it not move quite as much as it did. So yeah, I think people think, well, you know, acrylic's acrylic and it's all, you pick it up all the same, but you know, they are, they all have different differences. I think we should get some, um some wish acrylics for you to play with. I would love to do that and see how terrible they are. But it may shock me, they may be really good. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm very much doubt it as well. So I'm pulling the sides. Now, people always ask me about smile lines. So you see, I'm pulling the sides quite straight to be nice and straight, yeah? And then we've got the curve here. You'll get a consistent smile line when you do that. I'm going to get it as neat as I can without having to sort of file it yet. So I can do minimal filing. That's a one, two, three. Yeah, because it's all about doing it like slap dash, but surely you're only making that harder for yourself, like you just said. I'm trying to do do it neat so that I've got minimal filing. Definitely. You're creating yourself more work. You are, you yeah. So I went a little bit dry with this one, which is a little bit better actually. But I can still, I can still move it. I love the colour. Oh my God, it's, it's really a beautiful nice colour. Yeah. Can't forget about the Fapex. So the only thing I worry about when using a brand that I've not used before is how is this going to file when we've got two beads on there that are connected together? Am I going to have any lines or shadowing between each bead? So that's that. You're only like yeah. one of your observations. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what that's like when I do it. Right. So I'm going to use my Samantha Navy pinching tool. I'm just going to test, not ready. So what I'm going to do is use my thumbs to test pinch. Now, I have gloves on. I'm not touching the product. What would it matter if you were touching the product? Sorry. Because it's not completely set. And you could then get allergies to it because you're constantly touching it. You could? Yeah, I could, yeah. Like dermatitis? Yeah. I've never had the issue with that on the ends of my fingers, to be honest. Right, well, let's see how this smile line goes, because I've... You can see I've worked a lot drier. Still moving, it, it's holding its shape. Pigment's nice. It's just starting to sort of move a little bit more, but it's not causing me too much. I can tuck those sides using the side of my brush. The 
again, sweeping those sides nice and flat and straight. And you're getting your brush and sort of tucking underneath the product. And I can come a little bit flatter, just to sharpen that edge. Right, next bead. That's really clever, you just said that. What? Well, it looked like, it looked like it was overhanging over my cuticle. Does that yeah. make sense? It, like it might be just being an illusion on here. But then it's, even though it sits like high and it looked like it's over your cuticle, how it then nice and smudges down to yeah, the yeah. cuticle. That's really yeah. clever. I mean, it might just be how it looked on camera, I don't know, but... Well, I want to get it nice and neat at the cuticle because when you've got a powder that's so pigmented, um, when it comes to filing around the cuticle, if it doesn't blend in seamlessly, you kind of can see where the product starts and ends. So that's something that you need to consider when you've got you know, a cup of pink powder that is really pigmented. It's beautiful. Right, so we're going to come back to this one. I need to put lids on powders. And move and move my monomers out of the way because I'm going to take the um, 150 grit file and I'm just going to come around. Does it? Mm. Thank you. Mm. You asked it. Well, I'm going to wait that. Yeah, so I'm going to use the file to butt straight up, tuck underneath, and get it nice and straight. But you've done that relatively, you've got to done that relatively neat. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not adding a lot of pressure, just really, just perfecting it. it. Yeah, just perfecting it, that's all. But I'm assuming you could cause yourself a hell of a lot of work by doing it really, really messy. Yeah, if you, if it was, don't just slap it on, try and get it as perfect as you can with the brush. Right, so I'm going to touch this with my thumbs to test pinch and I'm also going by doing that, I'm adding heat to your dead fingers, oh, no. which they seem so cold, which is really annoying when you get a client with cold, cold um, hands. If it's too cold, the product will crystallise. So room temperature is massive. It's so vital. Just a little bit like a little bit spongy. If it's too spongy. When you put your tool on, you're going to create a dent. So you want flexibility, but not sponginess. Wow. How many times has that happened? And you're like, hey, you've got me pinch it too soon because I'm going, pinch it, pinch it, do you pinch it? And you just put it on to shut me off. Then you go, Luke, told you, we're ready. And I'm like, okay. Now, if that happens, you need to rectify it there and then. Get it pinched first. Get it pinched. As soon as it's set, then you can fill in your little dense if that happens. Yeah, don't try to compensate by filing it. Yeah, don't compensate by putting product on then try and pinch it because that product will still be wet and everything else will be starting, will be pretty much set. So you've got to get the pinch in first and then rectify that after. Right, so I'm just going to do the same on this one, get it nice and neat. Right, so now for the glitter and the colours and oh my god, this is exciting. We're going to do a marble. So we've got lots of colours, beautiful colours. I'll have to get off before I run. You know what, I did it at the beginning, I showed you what the colours were. You need to just like pay attention. 
because you're making my job hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna marble this one and then we'll come to do colors. So you'll notice how I've done the nude colors first. Sorry. <laughs> you'll notice I've done the nude colors first because everything's really pigmented now and we're gonna transfer color into products. So I didn't want that to happen. Well, I did the nude color or the ballet shoe color. Ballet shoe. Ballet shoe. Right, so when we're gonna do these um, beads, I'm actually gonna take this end off my Alicia brush because this is going to help me marble as well. Yeah, and help me get things nice and neat and tidy and everything. Oh, I feel like I haven't used this product for a little bit, you know what I mean? I've got to, I've got to pick these two up separately with a different one. So we're going to see how we go. Right, look on your face there. No, I, I think I'm just going to do two at a time. You have never had marbling. What? No, I've no, never. You're kidding me? No, promise you. Right, so we are just going to Tease the products into each other. That one set really quick. And I am going to get rid of that because I didn't know what that had set really. Yeah, that one set really quick. None of the rest did. Why did that happen? Because it's got a lot of uh, benzoyl peroxide in it. From the same brand as well. Mm-hmm. Very odd. Very, very odd. Right, so take your brush, drag it through. We're gonna pick a little bead of this glitter and feed that into that gap. Oh, it's so nice that glitter is. And then let's go with. Oh dear me. I'm going to make my cuticle nice and neat here. Get the collar very thin. So you want them to be quite wet so you can move them around. And when you're using such a large nail, this is when you've got to think about setting times and everything like that because it will interfere with your product because it's so long so you can't kind of do it all in one big swoosh so you're best doing it in sections and I don't want it to run so I'm just going to turn the hand I'm taking that bit away because I want a section I can actually work on. So, I want that liquid. Mm. 
Now, so there is one powder that wants to set really quick, which makes it difficult to marble. Right, so now I'm going to add this glitter. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Glitter Armour one. So any kind of little gaps in that, you want to just feed your glitter into those. Don't like let it overtake the design. You want it to flow with the design. If it was Faye, I'm sure she'd just have more. Oh, it is Faye. <laughs> if Faye was doing the nails, she'd definitely be like, oh, let's just keep adding more glitter. More glitter. Mm. <laughs> just makes it pop feel like I still need a little bit of this up here so I'm just going to take a tiny bead with that 3D side of my brush and just feed a tiny bit of that coral just to make that bit pop and stand out a little bit more okay so you want to cap so we're going to cap with the Nelchemy um, Genesis Crystal. Right, one over there. Yep, I did. Brand new because it's still shaking. <laughs> Not going to worry about the cuticle area yet. I'm going to do that last. But don't get rid of the fake packs. Don't get rid of the fake packs, definitely. While that one sets a little bit, I'm going to work on this one now. So, we're going to take some gorgeous colours and go right up to this smile line. And we're kind of going to use it really thin as if it's like paint. So when you come to file this, your file through to the colour and it'll make it look really sharp. So it's, you know, I love doing it. I just think it makes everything pop really nicely. Yeah. Right, let's get a pinching tool on this. Nope, still not ready. So I've turned it round because this part is ready to pinch and this part isn't. So it's just pinching that part. I'm going to take this nail alchemy colour and, God, it's so pigmented. Literally, just sweep it across like paint. Look at that, look how thin that is. But it's still got, like, a lot of pigment. Wow. Wow. Cool. 
Right, so with this one, we're going to add the glitters. I was just going to be like, and then you have the glitters, yay! This, they've got little seals on these now, can we want some? That's Not now, can we, sorry, the um, the um, Lacente ones. Oh, that's good though. Oh. So when you open your pot. Oh no, but they get sucked in it. <laughs> right, so with this. We're going to get some of that jazzy bejazzly. We're going to pick up clear bead and we're going to add a bit of this oh my oh. god <laughs> it's stunning colours I love them right let's have a bit of a few of these little bad boys these mermaidy oh they look so nice well they look they look different though on the nail than they do in the pot oh. yeah They kind of change colour when you turn them and the light catches it differently. Right, love that. And then we're going to do some fall glitters as well. Like lots of glitter and colour and all sorts. Right, so we could, on this one, we're going to do pretty much the same as we've done before. Right, I'm going to cap these in clear. So when I say cap, we're going to basically encase the free edge with clear so we encapsulate those glitters. This is going to build your strength as well. Question. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have to the like the cuticle bit? Because that's a core powder. Right, okay. So that, that has all the strength. So I do find this one marbleizes the one that's the nail coming one. Um, it, you've got, but because I'm sweeping it quite thin, it just melts together. So it, you don't actually see the marbleization. So that's like the the pigment and the the clear powder sort of separating. You you don't see that. Question: Would you see it if you filed it? No, because I've merged it all together. So you can kind of see it here. If you left it like that, you'd see, yeah. But because I'm pressing the product and moving it, you, it just they just merge together and blend, which which is nice because you know it's hard when some products do marbleize like that and then they become difficult to work with. But I've, you know, I think it's it's good to know 
that it can kind of be fixed and it's good to know what marbleizes and what doesn't as well. And does that vary depending on what ingredients are in that particular product? Okay, so the certain products in it, well, the certain ingredients and the product that would cause it to do to marbleize. Um, it's products not been it, right. So you've got the pigment is not as fine as okay. the acrylic powder. Okay, then that can cause issues. Okay, it won't. I mean, it's workable. You well, just for, yeah, but for somebody who isn't as Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, yeah. does that make sense yeah. to somebody who's very much learning mm -hmm. and they're taking it that that wouldn't be an easy product to work with for a beginner? Depends what they're using it for. Whereas this one, let's have a look at this one. It doesn't marbleize nowhere near like the other one does. Is that going to glitter? Yeah. I thought it could have. And it's difficult to see, but I could just see like as if something was glistening. That's what it mm. is. So with this ombre, it blends really nice. Yeah, it's blending nice. You can see little bits of pigment that aren't, you know, they're stronger in other places. So it does need a little bit of patting and pressing just to sort of get rid of that. It is difficult with coloured powders to stop that from happening, especially with neon. I didn't know what that was neon either. It's cause it's spring. You've got a spring in your step. I think I'm gonna do the same ombre on this now because I just think that it'll you know, be cohesive, be more cohesive. The word for me that. Yes, and I don't know what the word means. Really? Like it'll flow. Right, so we're going to encapsulate now. Wow, I am loving the colour combo, everything. It looks amazing. Good choice. You put any chunky glitter in there, though. I didn't want to put the chunky glitter in there, no. Because I just needed it to be cohesive. That's bullying, though. So I'm going to use the dust collector. So I go around the cuticle and I'm going to pull down the length. I will, because it's so long, I will definitely need to move my client's hand around. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry.
So I'm pulling quite flat down the side from the apex down. I'm not really touching the apex at all. The apex. The apex. The Right, so I'm going to file these nails now just to get them a little bit more perfect. Make sure you go around the cuticle area. And you know when I was talking about, you know, getting that blend, when you've got a really pigmented cover powder, getting that blend is, you know, sometimes difficult. So you want to make sure you blend it in nice and softly. Um, try not to have like a lip at the back. Also, I have found when I've been filing this product, you know when we were talking about seeing the separate beads that have been applied, I can see the separate beads. Not all of them, but I can see a line of sort of marbleization, shadowing. So I think if I use this brand next time, this one here, which was mm. Glitter Armour. Glitter Armour. Sorry. I would try and do that in one big bead. Glitter Armour. So, I don't know if you can just see this line. You can see it there. So, we've been doubt, had a bit of nail art. Or bling. <laughs> to cover that up. No, it's not the end of the world. And also, um, when I put the pink down, I made sure it went all the way up that brick wall of the smile line. So you can see when I filed now, if I just buff this, you might be able to see it a little bit better. You get a really sharp, bold colour in that section because we've hit the powder. I don't know if you can see it on the side a bit better. So it's really strong here. But yeah, you could, I've got a line on this side as well. I'm just gonna check these over. Right, so we're going to buff these now. So I'm gonna use our buffers, which are one fifth grit yes i don't know why i questioned myself but. so they're nice and smooth so Faye's going to have a bling on now um we're going to be using the crystals from the crystal box um is that what they're called yeah i love that well the nail box no it's, it's called the nail boxes and this is the crystal box i like that um, there are 7,000 crystals in this box. Shot up. On Does it sell for a blemish? Because you've used a few. So okay, so there, there was when I very first started with it. There were 7,000 now, there's probably 6,802 maybe. The, the nail boxes. You haven't got social media, you're never going to find them. So, Faye normally has Swarovski crystals. Yeah, but they've got a shot. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah, it's on there. Oh, that's Found it then, have you? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, yeah. she normally has Swarovski. She's going to give these a go. Yeah, if you want Swarovskis, we'll put a link for that as well. Just saying. So, I'm going to be using the Pally Picker up here to put the stones on. I'm going to be using the Crystal Gem Glue from mm. Nailcomy to put that on. We've got the Nailcomy lamp at the ready. Give us your hand. Yeah, so what I'm doing is, I'm just trying to see what we can sort of make with the shapes. Shop Don't it. get none of them other shapes then, though. Why? No, here. Here, this is what you want. This no, I see, I told you, I knew what you were going to pick up. Love art. No, absolutely not. You know I'm not about that lie. I know, I know. These are nice, see you? Where? Here. These? Nice. Here. These? These? Them. Teardrop. Nice. One's below and nice. Oh, them and nice, Kirst. 
That shape's nice. Bow one. Don't get any bow ones on. You're not, you're not feeling the bow, are you? No. That shape's nice. I don't know why we're doing it on that. I don't really know why. I don't know why I don't like this one together with that. It's too oh. roundy, roundy. Would you? No, no, it's not a vibe. <laughs> Go away. I thought the pointy one was nice, wasn't it? What about this one? What was the shape? So I've put this kind of little embellishment together and we're going to now put this on here. So let's get our gem gel on and I'm going to move this around now and just try and create that kind of shape that I've got going on. So I'm just using the pointed metal tool end of the Pammy Picker Upper. You can just move that around. So we're going to start with this one here. Yeah. That feels quite sticky. Mm, it is. Not all off mark, because before now you're like, you must stay still, sliding all over the place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And doing it wrong, this may slide a little bit, only because there is a lot of stones. It feels tacky. Yeah, it's lovely and tacky. <laughs> the kind of tacky we need. I was going to say it. Yeah, not trashy tacky. Not trashy tacky, no. But you know what I mean, Lucas, don't you? Because mm. normally, putting big stones on like that, See, look how quick you put in place in them stones. That's quick. That is so quick, and mm. it's because I've planned it out. Oh, really? Do you mean it really? Yeah, but I just think you can. I just think you can flow. I do. So I think that's rubbish. You can naturally flow and just do things spontaneously. Yeah. yeah. Planning makes things way quicker. You've literally that's flew on my nail. Get it in the lamp. That's stunning. Oh my god, it's so nice. So, right. So because we've got, see, we've got this little. I think like we need a smile line one. Yeah. Can you go around the smile line? I'll go around your smile line and just add a little bit more as well. Ofs. This makes it easier as well, just being able to just lay it where you want it. That's what I'm saying. It's more like a gel than a glue. Glue is the right word, but. Liquid, a decent, yeah. It's gel rather than liquid, isn't it? That's yeah, it is gel, saying. yeah, yeah. And I've tried and tested the product and I love it. This kind of like tied line from the beads is, it's an issue for me. So I am going to create a design that's going to cover that because that will do my head in. And I'm sure Faye will have a right good wind about it as well. I love them. I'm just a little bit jealous that they're on your nails. You say this every single time. Yeah, you but it does me hurt him because I haven't got the patience to do this on myself. You've got the patience to do it on me. I haven't got the patience to do it on you, but no, I... I you're such a feather. You talk absolute trash. <laughs> she talks rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Don't believe. 
and well and not things like that anyway maybe the nail stuff yeah <laughs> <laughs> Right, so what I do now is, so this top coat, you don't have to use this one, you can use any tack free top coat. This is the nail cummy one. And we're gonna go right up to the side and sort of coat the edges of the stones as well. And that helps even more for keep everything on. So this, this is Faye's favourite. Good girl. I wanted a pot like you were going to pot. I haven't got a pot, forgive you, a pot. You, yes, you did, Jackie. I haven't, I've only had one of them. Bullshit. Language. Honestly. I have only She's had really one there. of those. I haven't got any more of those. I had the, the, the body butter. Oh yeah, you did often more of them. I did, and you said to no. I know, because I knew I wouldn't use it, and I would hate to know have something that's just being wasteful. I like the oil though. I haven't got that though. You'll have to buy one of them online. Yeah. Ten yards like that one, I think. Thank you very much. Fingers together. Do you know what? For how many videos I'm in, I should be sent bloody cuticle oil. Gifted cuticle oil oil. Oh, you can get rid of that face. I love these and I think the, the stones look amazing. They're but really I think nice. the colour, everything, the shape. They are just I gorgeous. Say, but I thought they'd look better with Swarovski. I thought no, but I thought they'd me. look better on my hands. That's that's the oh, only issue. The ah! it's <laughs> but they wouldn't look better on my hands. Sorry. Bye, yes, Faye. Bye, Faye. Bye, Faye. So there you are guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and everything that I've used today will be listed below as always. And I'll see you in the next video. I love y'all. Ta-da, Doc! Oh, oh, this oh, is something supernatural. <gasps> Definitely not natural. <laughs> Definitely not. With the freestyler, mm, mm. rock the microphone and the. Yeah. That one. Dance, 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 dance. 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 Dance,